Hey everybody, this is Yard King. Just want to talk about uh, the results of my trees. And uh, here is a pear. And I'm actually a little bit disappointed because there were actually hundreds of these and some of them have fallen off. But they're still there. Some pears. This is what you call a pineapple pear. So they're going to be up and down but kind of spread out. There's one right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. So a lot of them have fallen off, but that's okay. There was literally hundreds and hundreds of these. Some of them have fallen off and some of them uh, are going to survive and give me some fruit this year. And it would be the first year. So I'm super excited about that. And uh, the peach tree, come on Audrey. The peach tree this year has got loads and loads of uh, fruit. I gotta take some time to thin this out this year. Uh, pretty soon, it's loaded down with peaches. Obviously that is way, way too close together. So last year I lost my whole crop to flower end rot. So uh, this year I'm hoping to uh, actually have a crop because I put some uh, calcium down which is supposed to help the tree some it was really just lime um, and then I'm also sprayed it with some organic stuff so because I had to blossom in rot is what I had end up having this is my supposedly from Lowe's my um, green gauge and it's got a decent amount of fruit here. So, really excited about that. Hopefully, they'll stay and get, you know, have lots of fruit. This one's a baby tree, and I'm not gonna get anything out of this one. But this one right here, I got about 20 pieces of fruit last year. And this year, um, I got lots more if you can see it here yeah but I have a good bit more here this year so I don't know how much but it's way more than 20 that's for sure so my little daughter's copying me and she's like using her little phone hey Audrey what? show them your phone that you're taking a video on yeah okay here is my figs i've got tons of brevas this year tons so this is the first year i did not cover these up and this is the first year they didn't die back to the ground and it has really done well and it's got tons of brevas all over the place so i'll get a breva crop and a main crop for this one uh this one right here has got a few um figs on it be careful don't knock a fig off audrey so this is a young tree, so it's not going to have but a whole bunch. bunch. This is a uh, desert king. So, so hopefully next year I'll get a whole bunch more fruit. But it's just not going to have a whole bunch of fruit this, on this first year. Because I planted it um, last year. So it's going to grow roots and stuff like that. And hopefully this wood will get bigger and thicker and I'll be able to um, protect it and then I'll have a good harvest next year. So this is supposed to be a brown turkey, but um, I think it's a possibility it's a brown turkey. It's another possibility that it could be not a brown turkey <laughs> because the leaves actually look very similar to this one, which is a Celeste. And it's got some um, Breba on it as well. Audrey, you come back over here. This is my little persimmons. Hopefully, probably probably won't get fruit for another two or three years for that one. All right, so you saw the ruby sweet, but this year is the first year that I've got fruit from my Santa Rosa. Um, last year I had some blooms, but I didn't get any fruit, but now I've got some fruit. It's a good, a good little bit for its first year fruiting. And so hopefully I'll get some yummy 
yummy fruit for this one. And then we'll be able to compare which is better, the Santa Rosa or the Ruby Sweet. It'll be really interesting. The Ruby Sweet, uh, I have a video of one of them. Uh, check it out. It's kind of like a red plum with red flesh, but this one is, I think, is red with yellow flesh. But look at here, man. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's loaded with fruit. And it's not so laid down that I'm, I'm too worried about it, you know, being too much for the tree. Yeah. So this is my apple tree, and it's been a disappointment every single year. Every single year it's had blossom end rot. And this is its last hur hurrah. If I don't get fruit from it that's edible and tasty, I'm gonna cut it down. I'm not dealing with n never having a, a good harvest. So um, I'm very prepared to cut it down and maybe replace it with a mulberry tree or something like that. So we ain't messing around. There's lots of bees pollinating them, so it hasn't had a problem making fruit, but keeping the fruit and also having edible fruit. They just they get small, they're not very tasty, not very flavorful. So I mean if if this is not the year, then I'm just gonna be done with that. There, this is my cherry tree. This is another one that I lost the whole harvest last year because a, a blossom uh, in rot. So again, I put some lime down. I'm hoping that's gonna help some. And I sprayed the blossoms with some organic stuff. So um, the, the also the spring before, it was a very, very wet uh, spring. And this had some wet moments this spring too, but not, I wouldn't say nearly as bad, not even half as bad as, you know, last spring. And I would also say we have probably about, man, four times as much fruit because last year we had a whole bunch of blossoms, but not a lot of fruit. Uh, and this year, I mean, we got a decent amount of fruit. And uh, three seasons ago, I did have a couple of pieces of fruit that was delicious. I loved it, it tasted great. My only regret from this tree is not the taste and selection, it's really the size. I wish I'd gotten a semi-dwarf tree because um, it's just not getting any bigger than this. It's a really small tree. And I, this is a fully dwarf tree. And this is, I mean, you could have just put this over there in the front of the porch and it wouldn't have been in the way. I mean, it's just so small. So in that sense, it's a really good choice if you're up against your house or right in front of the, you know, it, you know, that'd be great. However, it's just not gonna produce enough fruit. So maybe one day I'll get another cherry tree, if my wife will let me, and get a semi-dwarf, because I definitely got the space for it now. You know, I bought all this land, all the way up to that marker over there. Let me see if I can, yeah, so we bought, uh, we doubled our property size. It's all blurry. We doubled our property size. And so all this empty ground right here is pretty much ours now. So, you know, um, here we go. We got a Violet de Bordeaux. And so this one is not the best location. I decided to experiment to put it over here just because um, it would be a good place to protect it for the winter, but it's not the best when it comes to heat or sunlight. So, um, but if you can see, it already got some brebas there going on. So it already has some brebas. So hopefully I'll get some main crop as well. My little girl's doing a video too. And we'll see what we got going on here. This is uh, gonna be my uh, grapes. I do kind of apologize for the way I'm talking, guys. Uh, I, I work nights and it is about one o'clock or 1.30 in the afternoon. And um, I woke up yesterday from a nap for about, th about a three hour nap around five o'clock yesterday. So that's just how my life goes. And so at this point, 
I'm pretty dang tired. <laughs> and I don't really think very clearly at this stage of my day. So, anyhow, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what do you think would be the fruit that you're most excited about. Um, for me, I think it is the cherries. Um, eventually, I think it could be the Desert King. Um, Desert King um, fig over here. But, you know, there's only going to be two, about two, two pieces of figs this year. And next year, we'll have a lot more. Um, I'm always excited about this one because it actually does produce really good figs and very tasty and absolutely delicious figs. Um, I'm excited to taste the Santa Rosa plum a whole bunch because I haven't had that. I'm also excited about this Ruby Sweet just because uh, I want to see how the fruit changes in taste as it uh, matures as a tree. So that would be really interesting. I am excited about peaches, but man, I still have yet to taste all this giant tree. I've yet to taste a peach because last year was the first year I had a crop and they all went bad. So hopefully this year I get some and we got some green gauge. This would be really exciting as well. So I'm not sure if you can see. Alright, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think. Peace.